give God all the glory for today. Today may have been a little cloudy, but today was still an awesome day because Jesus is living with me. He's walking with me. It's still beautiful. And I want to give pastor honor today for allowing me to be up here once again. And I believe we have one of the greatest pastors right now in Jesus' name. He's an awesome man of God. Get right into it. I'm going to go to John chapter 14, verse 15 through 16. This is Jesus speaking. If you if you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, for this awesome and beautiful day that you've given to us. I ask you, Lord, that you would speak to us today, Lord, that you would use me, Lord, and you would speak a word, oh God, to your people, Lord. Lord, just be with us today, oh God, and I just pray that your Holy Ghost power will come through this place and that your peace will overwhelm your people today. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. You could be seated. I believe Jesus sent the Comforter, which we know is the Holy Ghost, Jesus' Spirit living inside of us, to help us with peace and to have peace and to walk in that peace daily. Um, I believe that Jesus wants us to be a peaceful people. Um, I believe that because to the extent where when we're, pe when we're peaceful, even to the extent that our enemies will be at peace with us. And I believe that because, number one, that God will get all the glory for it. And number two, when, a peaceful, when someone's peaceful and things are going on, that gives an opportunity to witness because people start to wonder and question, you know, what is going on? Don't they see that things are going on? But, you know, they'll still be able, they'll be able to be in peace. And also, our Lord wants us to be, be, peace, be at peace so he could continue to walk with us. And I feel that the, the things that may be going on in our lives here, it may be hard for us to have peace in the Lord. And some of us may feel that we cannot have peace because our health condition or the bad report we get from the doctor. Some of us may feel that from that, you know, we cannot focus on God and be still and be at peace. But I just want to encourage you today that the healer is in this place. The healer is all over this place. And if you have the Holy Ghost, guess what? That healer is living inside of you. And we can have peace in that. Some of us may feel that we cannot have peace because our family is falling apart, or it may feel that your family may be dysfunctional, but guess what? We can still have peace in that, because you know when chaos starts going on in the family, we could be like, look, we're gonna have a Bible study. We're gonna pray right now. We're, before we say anything else, we wanna pray. And if they don't wanna do that, you begin to pray, and guess, see what God will do, and he will start bringing peace into your family. And also, some of us may feel like we cannot be at peace because work situations, you, there's probably a time of layoffs or your business not going where you think it should go. But guess what? Our God is still our provider. He knows exactly what we need. And for me personally, I'm going to start giving to the Lord. I'm going to continue to give to the Lord because the God is my provider. This world is not my provider. So he knows exactly what we have need of. So don't get discouraged in that. We can still have peace in that. Even in the midst of all that's going on, how can I say we can still have peace? It's because God is the ruler of this whole world. This is why. And also that he has all control, he has all power. We can have peace in that knowing that he has everything in control. With all of this, a question came to mind. How can we say we have the Holy Ghost but don't have peace? We have the Holy Ghost. God gave us the Holy Ghost, that comfort, to have peace. Because I could say this because the scripture tells us in John 14, 26 to 27. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Today, I just want to encourage you all today that do not let your heart be troubled because we have peace today. God has given us something so great. He's given us the Holy Ghost, that comfort in us that will allow us to have peace. Allow that peace to give you joy today. Because guess what? Jesus has already overcome the world. He's already conquered death. 
So there's nothing that God cannot do for you. He could give you joy today. He could give you peace today. That's nothing too small. There's nothing too small or too hard for God. And also, yes, this, is, this may be troubling times, but still in this troubling times, I still believe we are still extremely blessed and highly favored people here. We're still very blessed. But yes, they may be worse of times coming, but Jesus told us that he would leave us his peace. Our, his peace will always be with us. So it's nothing we should be troubled about with that. And also, and that scripture says, neither um, be afraid. Today, I encourage you not to allow the enemy to hunt you with fear. There's nothing to fear. When we have peace, we shouldn't be fear. We should not fear. Because God has not given us a spirit of fear. So I encourage you today to tell the devil, get thee behind me. I rebuke you. You have no control over me because I have the peace of God living inside of me. I just want to encourage you all today to be confident in God's peace and let it overwhelm you today. In Jesus' name.